All right, so we're going to connect now. If you haven't already done it, press that button. Okay. Open Wi-Fi settings. Okay, so I got to get onto the Stella. On the Stella network. Internet connection. Well done. Initialize Stella. Here we go. We're initializing. Start. Here we go. This takes a while for it to do it. You may have to go inside there and turn those lights out. What? You might have to turn these lights out. Out? These lights, yeah. Really? Yeah. It's more then it's better. Star pattern a analyzing. Don't stand over it, otherwise I can't see. I didn't see what it was doing. It's just sitting there. Yeah, it takes a while for it to do it. Smell the fire. Mm hmm All right, so we can't really see anything here. So it's initializing, and uh, we went, we're going through autofocus now, and it's um, going to look up at the stars. And so this is kind of what you see on your... Uh, on your application. You can see it's running through here and uh, takes a while. It's not super fast, but we're getting there. And apparently what it's gonna do is it's gonna look up at the night sky and it's gonna see what the heck is up there and then it's gonna triangulate itself and use this computer to figure out where everything's at. And Bob's your uncle. We'll be looking at stuff, hopefully. We'll find out. Do an autofocus. Just got a little bit left, almost there. Let's see what the next thing is. All right, here we are. St St Stalina has initialized and is ready to take on a journey to the stars. Choose your destination and let yourself be guided. So we can look at all these different things. And these are all different nebulas. Browse other objects. Let's take a look and see what we got. Let's look at, we want to look at um, planets. solar system. All right, so um, what one do you want to look at? Jupiter. You want to look at Jupiter? All right, so I'm going to go ahead and press Jupiter, and uh, it's below the horizon, so we can't see it. Where is it? It's below the horizon. So where's Saturn? Let's go back. Damn it. So let's take a look at Saturn, below the horizon. Let's look at uh, Mars. Start observation. So... Pointing at target. That's either Mars or Venus and this bright light. Oh no, this is Mars. Or that is. I think that is because it's... Um, it's going orange. all the way... Look, it's going all the way around. I know. I think that is because it's orange. Yep. Look at it. It knows right where it's at. Pointing at target. This also looks at nebulas. It can look deep into space. I just can't imagine what it what it is I'm gonna see. Oh, well, you're gonna see? I, wait until I, I can't believe we can't see. Wait, wait if Jupiter's in, I just saw a comet. Yeah, there's gonna be a. No, no, I just saw it. There's gonna be huge. There's a huge comet pointing at target. So, so now, any minute now, we're gonna see it on here. If Jupiter's below the horizon, how are we supposed to see it on the 21st? We'll be able to see it. Why? How? Because it's gonna it's gonna be. In the, I already checked it out. That's only a week and a Tracking half. Tracking activation. Checking position accuracy. Tracking activation. Here we go. There's Mars. <laughs> no, it's just a ball. Yeah. Just like you'd see it on a telescope. Do you want to take a picture of it? Um, if you want. So anyway, this is a picture of Mars. And as you can see, it's very underwhelming. This telescope is not that great for planet viewing. So let's see what that is. Maybe that's Venus? Mm-hmm. It's doing its thing right now. 
doing what thing? I don't know, I think it's taking a picture of it. So we're looking at the Orion Nebula, and um, it's on my iPhone. And if I want to save this picture, I come up here, and I can just click on this, and it gives me this option to save photos. So I just hit that. Bam, that baby's been saved on my, uh, well, I got to hit this to save it. <laughs> Yeah, save the photos. The image was successfully saved the photos. And so you can save all these different images that you get. And tonight we looked at the Orion Nebula. It took about 20 minutes to, to make this picture of this deep space nebula. It's pretty cool. Very excellent. I'm thinking this is going to be a fun... I'm thinking that this is going to be very much fun to use. All right, so anyway, once you're finished like observing, we just observed the Orion Nebula, and you're done and you want to put it away, what you're going to do is you're going to go to Status Idle Park right here. And this is how you go ahead and close it up. You just hit that. And now it's going to park itself. And you'll notice that it's dropping down. We're outside in the dark, so this is not picking up very well. But this is going to close out. And then we can go ahead and put her away for the night. And then when we get a little bit better clear skies, We'll come back out and we'll get some more nebulas. So anyway, that's how you put your Selena away. What I'm going to do is I'm going to unplug the battery. And uh, when I'm done, and as you can see, she's all closed up on her own. And that's how you close up Selena. All right, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and check out my other awesome videos on how to use this thing. This thing is awesome. Peace out.